Hi, I'm Rachel. Welcome to Slow Fashion Mom. Today I wanted to share some tips on slow fashion for the home, which basically are just a few quick and easy DIYs I did to add some decor to our home. We live in an apartment and we've been in this place for just over a year and a half. And we moved here kind of from Thailand, but this it's a really long story and I'll probably make a video on it eventually. Um, basically, we had planned to go on a huge trip traveling for at least a year, maybe more. So in March of 2014, we sold all of our stuff, our car, all of our furniture and everything, and we went away traveling. And to make a long story short, we found out a few months into the trip that I was pregnant with our daughter and I wanted to come back to Canada to have the baby. So we were gone for five months and we came back and we were kind of scrambling to find a place and get everything together and we moved in here just the month before she was born. So when we moved in, kind of home decor was not really at the top of my list. And then having a newborn and and also a four-year-old at the time, it was pretty busy. So I didn't do any kind of decorating for the longest time. We did put a picture wall up in our living room with some family pictures and I did decorate the kids' room as soon as we moved in. Anyways, recently I've just been wanting to kind of decorate, make this place more of a home because of my interest in slow fashion and sustainable and ethical style. I've been reading a lot of books about that and it's kind of spilling into other areas of my life. Anyways, when I was thinking about getting some new decor and stuff for our apartment, I I thought, why don't I just kind of apply the slow fashion principles I've learned and see if I can decorate that way. When I think of slow fashion, the first thing that comes to mind is shopping less or shopping your closet. Translating that into home decor stuff, I thought I would just look around and see what I've already got at home that I could maybe repurpose or upcycle into something new. The big thing that really bothered me since we moved in is my mother-in-law kind of handed us down some old throw cushions that she had had for the couch and they're great and everything but they were white kind of like a white polyester slip cover which didn't match any of my furniture our couch is like a sage green color and we have kind of a darkish multicolored rug so the white really stood out <laughs> and also having white with two young kids is not optimal in my opinion. You can wash it, but I found they just got dirty so quickly and the fabric was really not comfortable. This was something I've been wanting to do for a long, long time is get different covers for these pillows. Soon after we moved in, I had purchased two from Ikea. I purchased them without measuring and they were both way too big for the pillows. So I had the idea to make the covers smaller for the pillows. My mom had an extra pillow form that fit this one that she gave to us, so that was great. And then finally, just the other day, I did make it smaller. It was the easiest alteration ever. I just sewed two lines. To make the pillowcase smaller and I didn't trim off any fabric in case I want to use this again in the future for a bigger pillow and on the inside I just folded the fabric out of the way and then for the next pillow which is this one my husband had a couple shirts that he was going to donate this kind of green brown and white striped one was in and I just thought it actually matches the couch and it would be perfect to cover the pillow in. And this was also super, super easy. I just cut out a square the size I needed for the pillow from the shirt, turned it inside out and sewed it up. And I didn't even need to worry about adding any zipper or Velcro or anything to take it off to wash because of the buttons. <laughs> So when you need to take it off to wash, you just unbutton, take it off and wash, and there you go, super easy. And you can display it with the buttons out, which is super cute, or as just a striped pillow. So I'm really happy with that one. It's also nice and soft because it was an old shirt. 
There we go, my pillow problem is solved. My next little project, I think it would be a stretch to call it a DIY, but anyways, I had this little this little plant for the shelves in my bedroom. The shelves are really narrow and it won't fit in any kind of pot. So I've just had it in there in the pot it came in, but it's black and I find it just really stands out. I wanted to find a white pot or something to put it in, just to kind of blend in with the bedroom decor a little more. For this, I actually just took one of my extra cloth napkins, I folded it on the diagonal and then wrapped it around the pot and just pinned it in place with two safety pins. This is more of a temporary solution just for the look. I think I will have to repot this guy pretty soon. It looks big for the pot, I'm not sure. I'm not great with plants, but hoping to become better. And my last little DIY project around the house are the shelves behind me there on the wall. When we moved in, I purchased them from Ikea because I think I saw on Pinterest or something this Ikea hack where you take these Ikea spice racks and make super cute bookshelves for your kids' books. So that's what I had in mind for those. I had an area in the living room I was gonna make into a little reading nook. Because we're in an apartment, most of the walls are concrete, so <laughs> everywhere I wanted to use these shelves had concrete walls and I had no way of kind of sticking them up to the walls in a secure way that could actually hold books. So these shelves just sat around in the closet probably for around a year. I tried to sell them in a garage sale uh, about a month ago and they didn't sell, so finally I was just um, trying to decorate our bedroom a little bit and that, that wall <laughs> is not solid concrete. So I hung them in my bedroom. So that's it. I just wanted to share a few quick little DIY projects I've done recently with materials I've found around my place. Sometimes when you feel like freshening up a room or giving it a new look. It's as simple as looking around your home first to see what you've already got and you never know what you can turn into something else or reuse. I hope you like this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Thank you so much for watching. If you've done any fun projects around your home with stuff you've found around, I'd love to hear about it. Please leave me a comment down below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!